Well, hello, and let me be the first to say welcome to the world of Young Living Essential Oils. My name is Becky Garman. I am a silver distributor with Young Living, and if you are listening to this recording, you have come into my team in my downline, and um, I want to thank you so much for coming into my team, and I'm so excited to be working with you. This presentation is going to be a basic 101 class. It's going to teach you a lot about essential oils and about Young Living, and it's really going to get you excited for when you get your starter kit. You may be waiting on your starter kit or you may already have it. Either way, um, this is going to give you sort of a crash course in, um, in essential oils. So I hope you learn a lot. And at the very end, I'm going to tell you how you can get a free gift from me. So thanks again for spending some time with me and let's just go ahead and get started. You know, just the fact that you have decided to come into Young Living really says a lot about you. It says that you have the desire to uh, find a life of health and wellness using more natural products. And I know a lot of us have used uh, so many man-made things over the years, and we have sort of been trained to do that from the time we were young. So Young Living, as a wellness company, we love to educate people how to live a toxin-free life. And not only just with essential oils, but I believe essential oils are just a part of the puzzle. Um, so, for example, you know, if you're using essential oils, but yet you uh, don't get the proper sleep or you have a very stressful life, you're eating, you know, processed foods, things like that, the oils may not do for you what you're hoping. So just keep that in mind that oils are just a part of the puzzle piece. They're just a part of the puzzle. They are part of a well rounded lifestyle, getting proper rest, getting exercise, eating foods that are as close to nature as possible, and using your essential oils to help um, build your immunities and to help all of those amazing body systems that God has given you. This is D. Gary Young. Gary Young is our founder, and he grew up in a very small um, area in Idaho, in a very depressed area. He comes from very humble beginnings, and Gary is actually a farmer by trade, and you can usually find him on one of our farms around the world, and we're going to talk in a little bit about our farms. Um, Gary used to be the CEO of Young Living, um, but has recently passed that job over to someone else um, so he could concentrate more on being in the fields and being in the farms and getting the oils um, and the products into our hands. One thing that I really appreciate about Gary the most is his promise um, to quality. And Gary, um, he will never compromise on quality. And we can always be assured that we have the highest standards, the highest quality oils in the world. This is Mary Young, and this is who Gary passed uh, his CEO job over to. So this is Mary. Um, she is a wonderful lady. I actually had the chance to meet Mary Young this past summer. Um, so she is our brand new CEO, has been in this position for just a couple of months. But Mary comes from a really interesting background. She was actually in another network marketing company and grew a very, very large um, business and was very, very successful. So she has taken what she has learned in the past in her network marketing experience and has brought it into Young Living and has really done an amazing job. So together, Gary and Mary Young, um, they lead the company of Young Living and they're wonderful examples. They have two sons and um, just a very family-friendly organization. I love this map. This map shows where Young Living has touched different places in the world. Any area that you see shaded in brown, those are areas where we have Young Living members. I mean, that's incredible. That's almost the entire planet. And what's really interesting about Gary Young is that his passion from the very beginning has been to get Young Living oils into every single home 
in the world. And that is such an amazing and incredible passion that he has. And so you can see um, we have farms all over the world. We have distilleries all over the world. We have warehouses all over the world. And all of those brown areas are where we have members. So Young Living is an international company. We are now a multi-billion dollar company um, and are just growing by leaps and bounds. I think the last number that I heard is that Young Living is adding over 100,000 new members every single month. So that is pretty incredible. So um, all of those people certainly can't be wrong. Uh, they know that there's something great going on in Young Living, and um, and I'm so glad that you're going to be a part of it as well. So you can see all the areas that are shaded brown. That's the places we've touched, but you can also see there are still areas that need Young Living. And so we continue to carry out Gary Young's passion to get Young Living oils into every home in the entire world. You know, it's very empowering when you make the decision to take control of your health and take control of your life. And I love this picture. That's actually me in the orange shorts. Um, this is a picture of me this summer. Uh, I had the chance to go to the Lavender Farm in Mona, Utah, and it was an incredible experience. And I'll talk a little bit uh, more about our farms when I get into the seed to seal um, in just a little while. But uh, that picture really uh, shows how I feel about Young Living. Um, since I have come into this company, I really have been empowered. And I used to be just a slave to man-made medications. I used to really, I was in a bad place when I started in Young Living. And um, thankfully, uh, my life has done a 180. And so I I just ha it has become my passion and my joy to educate people when they come into my team that is really what I love to do best is to teach people how to use their oils how to use them safely and how to share them with others and my hope and my prayer for you is that your life will be changed just like my life was and um, I do not know where I would be had I not started using the oils a couple of years ago and so um, this has really been become, like I said, my passion to educate. So I hope you learn a lot in the next few minutes. And by the way, that other picture, that is me actually planting brand new lavender plants. So we had the opportunity to do that, which was really just an experience of a lifetime. Okay, so let's talk about the history of essential oils. So where did they come from? Is it something new? It just seems like everybody is talking about essential oils. What is the big craze anyway? So actually, essential oils are not new at all. Essential oils, I believe, were spoken into existence by God, our creator. And um, I believe that he gave us plants to be used for our healing and for our well-being. And that's just my personal belief. We know um, there's there's about 200 references to essential oils in scripture. Probably the most common one that we can think of, the most popular um, reference, is when the wise men brought frankincense and myrrh to Jesus, uh, to the Christ child. And so the fact that they brought those oils really said something, and there's a lot of significance in that. One of the main things is that um, essential oils were really only possessed by the wealthy, and if you owned essential oils, you were pretty, you were revered pretty highly. Um, so they were um, owned by people who had money, basically. We know that essential oils were pretty much man's first medicine. Um, it goes way, way back, centuries and centuries, where um, early Native Americans and you know they all used plants and herbs for healing and for their health care. We also know from Egyptian hieroglyphics that, um, for example, frankincense oil was used for everything. It was used for their medicine. It was used for embalming. Um, they say that Cleopatra used frankincense on her face, and that's why she was so beautiful. I don't know. Um, but they did. They used it. That was one of their main oils was frankincense. And we also know, too, that a lot of today's pharma pharmaceuticals were actually inspired by plants. So essential oils are definitely not something new. 
So what are essential oils anyway? Um, when I first came into Young Living, I had absolutely no idea what it was. Um, but what essential oils are, they're volatile liquids that are found inside of plants, trees, shrubs, and roots. And that word volatile, don't let that scare you. That's just a fancy word for meaning that it can evaporate easily into the air and also that it's aromatic. So if something is volatile, it means that you can smell it pretty easily. Easily. So if you have a bottle of Young Living Peppermint Oil and you open it up in a room, the person on the other side of the room is probably going to smell that very, very quickly because it's a volatile liquid. And those small molecules jump into the air very quickly and makes it aromatic. So we consider essential oils to be the lifeblood of a plant. I want you to think about uh, your blood and the job your blood has in your body. It carries nutrients, it keeps you healthy, it keeps you strong, does a lot of things. Well, in a plant, the essential oil has several jobs other than just carrying nutrients. It also defends the plant, okay? The essential oil allows a plant to live in, say, 100 degree weather and that same plant to live when the temperature drops down to, say, 30 or 40 degrees. It's because of the essential oil. It's defending that plant. The essential oil also repairs the plant. So if you have ever seen a plant that's been broken and you see those new shoots coming out, that is because of the essential oil. And you know, God is an amazing creator because our bodies are very similar um, structurally and chemically uh, to plants. And that's why we can use essential oils in the same way that plants do. So we can use essential oils in our defense, meaning we can use it to boost our immunities and to fight off um, illness. And we can also use them in repairing um, any type of, you know, damaged DNA or anything like that. We can use the oils on our bodies the same way that plants do. Essential oils are very, very powerful. They can actually be between 200 to 10,000 times more powerful than herbs. So if any of you listening like herbal peppermint tea, you would actually have to drink about 30 cups of peppermint tea to get the same effect as one drop of peppermint essential oil. Yeah, that's pretty incredible. So you really, uh, it's very, very potent. Nobody could drink 30 cups of peppermint tea at one time. That tells you how strong and how powerful essential oils are. And what makes them so powerful and so potent are the tiny molecules that are in the essential oils. Because those molecules are so small, they can actually cross into our skin very easily and actually cross our cell membranes. Okay, that's something that pharmaceutical drugs cannot do. Most of them cannot cross into your cell membranes. Um, the molecules are too large. So we know that essential oils can cross into our cells, which is a good thing. And also essential oils are most often extracted by steam distillation. A lot of your citrus oils are extracted by cold pressing, which basically means they just squish the lemons or the grapefruits or the oranges. But most, the, the majority of essential oils come from steam distillation. Okay, so how are you going to use your essential oils? When you get that starter kit, there's basically going to be three ways that you use your essential oils. So the first way that we're going to talk about is topically, okay? So topically is when you're going to take just a couple of drops. I only want you to start with maybe one, two, or three drops, okay? Because those oils are so powerful and so potent, we don't want you to start with a huge amount at one time, okay? So just start with a couple of drops. You can drop it into the palm of your hand. And then you can just apply it to the desired area and massage it in. You can rub it on your back, on your arm, on your neck, on your head, or on your feet. Okay, that's applying topically. And we can put most of the oils straight onto our skin neat, N-E-A-T. That means not using a carrier oil. You can put them actually straight on your skin. I'm going to talk in a little while about diluting with a carrier oil and why you would need to do that. But, you know, if you're in doubt of where to apply the oil, a safe place is always on the bottom of the feet. 
your pores are very large down there and your nerve endings are very dead. So you really wouldn't ever have to dilute if you are putting on the bottom oil on the bottom of your feet and the oil is going to get into your um, into your body very quickly that way. Now something I didn't mention a while ago when we were talking about those small molecules, when you apply essential oil topically onto your skin, it only takes about 20 minutes for that essential oil to be within every single cell of your body. And okay, how many cells do we have in our body? Like billions, I think, right? We have so many cells. So in about 20 minutes after you apply that oil, that oil is going to be everywhere. So if you have some discomfort, say in your shoulders, um, it doesn't really matter where you apply the oil. You can put it on your shoulders, but even if you put it on your feet, that oil is going to eventually get to your shoulders, your shoulders, and it's going to get there very quickly in about 20 minutes. Okay, the next way we're going to use our oils is called aromatically. Now, if you have just put oil onto your skin using your hands, all you have to do is take your hands and cup them over your mouth and nose and take some deep breaths. Just inhale that oil. Okay, so if you already have it on your hands, you may as well, I um, mean, if you put it on topically, you may as well get it in aromatically as well, okay, since you've already got it there. Um, and it's also going to, there again, get into your system very quickly. You know, taking oils in aromatically is actually the quickest way to get oils into your bloodstream. When you inhale those oils, it goes immediately immediately to your lungs, and then with the help from the alveoli in your lungs, it immediately gets into your bloodstream. So that's actually the quickest way to get it in there. So typically, if I'm putting oil on topically, I always turn around and take my hands, put them around my mouth and nose, and just take a couple of deep breaths. So I've kind of got a two for one. I've done it on my skin topically, and I do it aromatically, okay? Another really great way to get it aromatically is in your diffuser and you're going to get a free diffuser in your starter kit. So just a little clue about the, the diffuser, though. The instructions say to use like 8 to 12 drops of oil at a time. Please don't do that. Um, I have been oiling for two years and using diffusers for two years, and I have never put that much oil into my diffuser. So really, you're just wasting a lot of oil, and it is very, very strong. So I want you to just start with a couple of drops in your diffuser. If you're brand new to oils, maybe two drops will be plenty for you, okay? And then you can just add more drops as you get more comfortable or as your body gets more adjusted to it. The third way that we're going to take essential oils is internally. And internally means we're actually going to take them in by mouth, okay? So you can do this a couple of different ways. You can see the picture of the gel cap. Um, you can get those on Amazon. You can actually get those through Young Living. And you could just put some oils uh, into the gel cap and then swallow it just like you would swallow a pill. You can also put oils into water juice, warm tea. You can put it into your spaghetti sauce when you're cooking. I've actually made um, lots of things in my kitchen using essential oils. Um, I like to drop a drop in a glass of water. I love to do lemon water every single day, and it just is a really great way to get the oils in. Now, when you are researching essential oils online and you go into Google and you put in something about how to use essential oils, there are going to be people out there that will tell you, always, you know, use your oils on topically and aromatically, but never take them internally, okay? Now, I want you guys to know that Young Living is different. We can take Young Living oils topically, aromatically, but we can also use them internally with confidence because there is something that we have that no other essential oil company has. And that something is called our seed to seal. Okay, this is our guarantee and our promise to our families that we have the highest quality oil. So what does this mean? This means that from the time that seed is put into the ground until the time we seal up the bottle and put our label on it, all of these steps that you see, the cultivation, the distillation, the testing, the sealing, it's all done by Young Living. So we are not an essential oil broker. We do not get oils from this vendor, that vendor, the other vendor, and then 
slap our label on it, we actually do it all ourselves. And we know that the quality is not lost because it's not going throughout so many different hands. Another really amazing thing about Young Living is that we are the only essential oil company on the planet that owns our own farms. We actually own, I think it's 11 farms now on six different continents. So we oversee everything. When I went out to that farm in Utah, I was amazed by a couple of different things. First of all, when I went out to the fields, I noticed that there were people out there working. They were actually bent over the plants, and they were pulling weeds by hand. Now, that's something you don't see very often. Most people are going to use what? They're going to use um, some kind of uh, um, chemical on their plants to, to control the weeds, right? Well, we actually get out there and pull them by hand, okay? There's no chemicals ever, ever used used on our plants, period, ever, okay? And when we acquire new farmland, one of the stipulations that Gary Young has is that that farmland or that soil has never been touched by chemicals. Now, I want you to think about something that is labeled as organic. Something that is certified organic means that for four years, no chemicals have touched that soil, and then they can put the organic label on it. Okay, so with Young Living, we actually go beyond organic, if that's such a thing, <laughs> to go beyond organic because our soil has never, ever been touched by chemicals. So we go way beyond four years, and that really says something about us, okay? So we um, another thing that I noticed when I was at the farm is that there were little critters buzzing all around the plants. There were honeybees everywhere, and there were little bugs everywhere. And that really said to me something else. It said that they didn't use any type of pest control, no pesticides or any chemicals to control the bees or the bugs. Um, so we can rest assured that because of all of these steps that Young Living takes, you can absolutely take your oils topically, aromatically, and internally, and you can be you can rest assured that the quality is there, okay? And we stand behind that. You know, plants are very persnickety. Um, plants have lots of constituents, and constituents is just a fancy word for parts and pieces, and all those parts and pieces have a job to do. So, you know, it's an exact science. When do you cut the plants? What time of day? What type of weather do you cut them in? Do you cut the plants down and lay them in the fields for a couple of days, or do you take them right to the distillery? There's so many factors that are involved. So if you have a company that's an essential oil broker, meaning they don't have their own farms, you can kind of see where that quality would be lost. You wouldn't know if, you know, those lavender plants had the tender loving care um, that you would want them to have if you're going to put that lavender oil on your body or on your babies and your kids, okay? All of our oils are tested in-house, and we also have third-party testing. So this is what sets us apart. So if somebody asks you, what is so different about Young Living? Why can't I just go to Walmart or TJ Maxx or Target and get my essential oils there? You always go back to Seed to Seal. Seed to Seal guarantees that there has been nothing added or nothing taken away from that oil, and what you are using on your body and in your body is 100% pure. Okay, let's talk real quickly about just a couple of safety reminders. You know, there's never been anybody that has ever died from using essential oils, but we do want to use them safely um, because we want to use them effectively, right? So we want to make sure, number one, that we have a good carrier oil on hand. Okay, a carrier oil would be something with large molecules like coconut oil, olive oil, grapeseed oil, yojoba, or Young Living has um, a carrier oil called V6, and I absolutely love that oil because it's a mixture of, oh, several different carrier oils like coconut, sweet almond, grapeseed, um, but when you put it on your skin, it doesn't feel greasy, and it doesn't have a bad smell to it at all. So why do you need a carrier oil? Well, carrier oils we use to dilute our essential oils. Now, we, like I said before, you can put a lot of the oils straight on the skin. But sometimes there are situations where you're going to want to dilute it with a carrier oil. Those would be situations like, as you can see here, if you're using essential oils on a baby, 
an infant, a small child, you might want to consider using a carrier oil. Okay, now my youngest child right now is four. Um, I very rarely dilute any oils on him, only if the oil um, feels a little bit warm or hot on the skin, I will dilute because um, he doesn't like that feeling. But typically, I will put oils straight on. But if you have, you know, young kids, younger than two, babies, infants, um, or if you're pregnant or nursing, you might uh, want to consider using a good carrier oil. Okay, now when we're using a lot of oils for the first time, I want you to think about your lifestyle right now and think about all of the toxins that might be in your body. Okay, do you eat processed food? Do you work in an environment where there are lots of toxins like maybe in a salon or in a factory or something like that? Um, there are toxins in the medications that we take. So really our bodies are full of toxins. Now the job of the essential oil is going to cross that cell membrane and it's going to kick the toxins out. That's what we call detoxing. Okay, they're going to, we're going to get those toxins out of your body. Sometimes when you are a brand new oiler and you're using, say, a lot of essential oils at one time, sometimes we can have what's called a detox reaction. Those would be symptoms like if you might get like a slight headache or maybe a little bit of nausea or if you see maybe a little bit of a rash come up on your skin where you applied that oil, okay? It doesn't mean you're allergic, okay? It means it's probably a detox reaction. And all that means is that you need to slow down. Your body is saying to you, I love what you're doing to me. I love these essential oils, but you're putting too many in too quickly. I can't get these toxins out fast enough, okay? So if you actually see a little bit of a rash come up on your skin where you applied that oil, all you have to do is take your carrier oil and, a, and rub it right over top of that rash. Okay, what the carrier oil does, what diluting does, it slows down the absorption rate of the essential oils. Remember how quickly I said the oils are going to get into your skin? Using a carrier oil is going to just slow things down and it's going to make your body more comfortable, okay? So I don't want you to be afraid of detoxing. Detoxing is actually a good thing. We want to get those toxins out of your body, okay? Um, but if you do experience any of those symptoms, that's just a sign your body has given you to, hey, slow down. Don't be so overzealous about the oils. Turn your diffuser off for a little while. Um, you know, just back off a little bit. Maybe you only use two drops instead of four. Cut everything in half, okay? Um, all right, we never want to put oils directly into our ears or our eyes. Now, you can use oils into your ears, but I want you to get it on the ends of your fingers, and then you can rub your fingers on the inside of your ears as far as your fingers will reach, okay? And if you accidentally get oils into your eye, um, it will burn very badly. So, what are we going to do? We are not going to rinse it with water. Water will actually spread the oil further and it's going to sting even more. So what you need to do, just like you would do on your skin, you need to get a carrier oil into your eye. So don't be scared of that. At first I was like, what? I'm not putting coconut oil in my eye. Um, but my eye was on fire one time and I did put coconut oil in it and it just took the stinging right away. So grab your carrier oil, just take a little tiny dab of it, put it in the corner of your eye and just kind of blink around a little bit and it will stop that. Okay? Okay, use less oil more often. I want you to just start with a couple of drops at a time, okay? You can apply the oils. Maybe, you know, if you're having discomfort in your back, put it on your back and give yourself 20 minutes. Let the oil do its job and then reassess how you feel. Okay, do I need to apply that oil again? And if you feel like you do, you can apply it again. It's not like medication. If we take some medication and it doesn't really um, help our symptoms at all, we're kind of stuck for four to six hours, right? We can't take it again. Well, with essential oils, you can keep applying as much as you need to or as much as you want to until you get relief. You cannot overdose on oils, but like I said, your body will tell you if, if you're putting them in too quickly. And how will it do that? By those detox symptoms, the nausea, the headache, the rash. So I want you just to really listen to your body and pay attention to what's happening, okay? Always refer to the instructions. 
All right, you probably got a reference book when you came into my team. If you don't have one of those, contact your sponsor or contact me. We can hook you up with one of those. But really, just look on the bottle. It's going to tell you how to use it safely. And one other thing, don't ever put oils into a plastic cup or a styrofoam cup, okay? So the oils, they will eat toxins, right? And styrofoam and plastic are full of toxins, so it will actually eat away at the plastic and styrofoam. So if you're drinking lemon in your water out of a styrofoam cup, it's actually eating away at that styrofoam, and it's going down into your belly. So we don't want that to happen. So always use a glass or a stainless steel cup. So now we're going to get into the fun part. This is where we're going to start talking about the oils in your premium starter kit. So if you've already gotten your kit, it probably looked a lot like this, or if you're still waiting on it, I know it definitely looks like this. Um, it has changed a little bit over the last couple of months, but this is an awesome kit. So we're going to go real quickly into each and every oil in this um, awesome kit. Okay, so the first one we're going to talk about is peppermint. Peppermint is one of my favorites because peppermint makes an impression. Peppermint has been used for centuries for digestive issues, okay? It's great if you have any kind of um, digestive discomfort. It promotes healthy bowel function. Peppermint is actually a dietary supplement, so we can take this one internally, okay? This is also a great one for energizing. Something I like to do in the middle of the afternoon, if I start to feel a little tired, I'll just drop one drop of peppermint on the back of my hand and I lick it and I hold my tongue to the roof of my mouth for about 10 seconds and it really just wakes me up. It brings oxygen to my brain very quickly and I am just ready to um, to go on with my day. So peppermint is also great to have on hand if you're experiencing any, um, you know, uh, respiratory issues. It's great for just um, using after exercise. Um, it's just a very, very popular um popular oil. I like to also put a couple drops in a glass of water. It's so refresh refreshing, especially in the summertime. Okay, frankincense is one of my favorites too. You're going to hear me say that about a lot of the oils because really all of the oils in this kit um, are my favorites, but frankincense I love. Frankincense is um, listed as a topical oil. Okay, so this one we could use topically. We can use in our diffuser. It is beautiful. It has just a, such a unique aroma. I absolutely love this one. One thing I do with my frankincense is I mix a drop or two with my moisturizer and I put it on my face every single morning and every single night. Remember what I told you about Cleopatra? Well, she must have used frankincense, so I think I need to use it too. So I love to put this one on my skin. Um, it's really great to support healthy skin. It's good for using in massage. This one is also just a great oil for grounding. Um, it's one where I feel a little bit that I just um, may be experiencing a little bit of uh, mild anxiety or stress. This is one that I love to put in my diffuser. It just sort of kind of brings me back to earth. And this one has also been used, we know, for centuries and centuries for prayer and meditation. Okay, everybody tells me lemon is the first one to get gone out of their starter kit. And I definitely know why, because lemon is awesome. It's just, it's just awesome. A really great... A habit to get into every single morning when you get up before you even eat breakfast I want you to pour yourself a glass of water remember it has to be in a glass not a plastic cup put it in a glass and drop in one or two drops of lemon and I want you to drink it now what does that do for me well our bodies are very acidic and we know that illness thrives in an acidic environment. So we want to balance out that pH in our bodies. We want to make our bodies more alkaline. And so lemon oil is actually alkaline. And so it will level out that pH or it will help reduce the acidity level in your body. So it's a great one for boosting immunities. Okay. It's great in your water. Um, it's just, it smells amazing in the diffuser. Lemon is just uh, a great one. 
I will say though about the citrus oils, let me give you a little heads up. Um, you can put citrus oils on your skin if you feel so inclined to do so, but just remember that citrus oils are what we call photosensitive. So if you rub a citrus oil on your skin and then you go out and say, lay in the sun at the beach, um, yeah, you might not want to do that. Okay, so um, just keep that in mind. If you are going to use a citrus oil topically, just make sure you give yourself, you know, a good 12 hours before you spend any long periods of time in the sun. Lavender we call the Swiss Army Knife of Essential Oils because it's used for so many things. Okay, lavender is good to have on hand in your kitchen when you're cooking and you might have an accident with a hot pan. I have done that many times and I just grab my lavender oil, put it straight on, and it feels so soothing and so wonderful. Lavender is a great one to support um, a good night's sleep. When my children are rambunctious and they've just had trouble settling down, I'll put lavender in the diffuser or I'll rub lavender on their spine or on their chest or on their feet and it just really helps them to settle down. Lavender is another one um, that I love to use in bath salts. Now, let me give you a tip about using essential oils in the bathtub. Okay, you're not going to want to run your bath water and then just drop your essential oils on top of the water because oils will float. It's not going to mix in with the water at all. Oil and water do not mix. So what I want you to do is take about a cup of Epsom salt, drop in about, you know, five to ten drops of lavender or any essential oil that you prefer and mix it up really good. Let, you know, stir it up until all of that oil is dissolved in the Epsom salt and then pour your Epsom salt into your bath water and that way the oil is going to be distributed throughout your bath okay and it's not going to just flow on top there are so many young living products that have lavender in them these are favorite this is a favorite one to use for like shampoos and lotions and things like that Okay, copaiba. Um, this one is sort of understated because a lot of people don't really know what it's used for. Well, you can see right there, it just promotes wellness. Um, I love this one. I love to use this just to support immunities. It's just a great one to have on hand to make it part of your health regimen. Um, copaiba is labeled as a dietary supplement, so you could actually put this in a glass of water, and I have done that. And it's just another really great one to boost immunities and to keep... Um, you know, keep those immunities strong. Okay, so now we're going to get into some blends. Those first five I talked about were called singles, meaning they come from just one plant or one shrub. Now we're going to get into blends. This is where we take several different singles and mix them together for a specific purpose. Um, probably everybody's favorite blend is Thieves Oil. Thieves is a dietary supplement as well. Thieves is the one that we use to support immunities, especially during the time of year where we are exposed to a lot Lot of yucky things around us, um, Thieves is a great one to use. Um, I make Thieves applesauce for my kids. We do Thieves in a drop of honey and we swallow it, swallow it when we're having some discomfort in our throat. Um, it's a great one to put in your diffuser. It smells amazing. Um, just so many things that you can do um, with the Thieves. And I recommend that you get online and either Google or look in your reference book and look up the history of thieves oil there's actually a story um, it's a, a historical account uh, probably a legend where it started as a historical account but sort of grew over time um, about the thieves oil so I suggest you do some research on that because it's really really very interesting Okay, purification is one that we are going to use um, to help eliminate odors in our home. I love to use this one in my laundry. Um, I put a couple drops in with my wash. Uh, I don't use dryer sheets because dryer sheets are very toxic. So what I'll do is take um, a damp washcloth. I'll put a couple drops of purification on and I'll throw it in my dryer with my clothes and it makes my clothes smell wonderful. Something else you can do is you can put a couple drops of purification on a cotton ball. Stick uh, your cotton balls in your stinky shoes at night, and it works like a charm, I promise you. 
This one is also a great one to use before you go outside in the summertime. We all know about those annoyances that we have at the backyard barbecues. So this is a good one. You can actually apply this straight to your skin, or you could even mix it in a spray bottle with some water or some witch hazel. Spray it on your skin and your clothes to be able to enjoy the outdoors. Panaway is a very popular blend. Um, Panaway is one that I used a lot when I first got into Young Living because um, I was struggling a lot with some back discomfort. And this is the one that I used um, in the very beginning and really got a lot of um, great effects from it. It's a good one to apply after exercise. It helps promote healthy muscles and joints. It smells amazing. It's got peppermint, wintergreen, clove. It just smells absolutely awesome. This one, because it has the peppermint, um, feels a little bit tingly on the skin. So if you don't like that feeling, you can always mix that with um, your carrier oil. RC is great. It is wonderful in the diffuser. It's good to rub on your chest uh, before exercising. You can put it on your spine. Um, this is the one that you're going to want to use for um, respiratory support. So, you know, if you're struggling, you could put it in the diffuser. You could put it, um, you know, just under your nose, put a little drop under your nose. You can put it on your feet. Um, sometimes I put this in my kids' diffuser at night before they go to bed, and it just really helps to open up those airways so they can get a good night's sleep. Okay, Digize. I'll be honest with you, Digize, um, it's a wonderful oil, but it smells pretty uh, funky. It does not have a great smell at all. It's got some fennel and ginger and just for some reason the combination of oils in there is not very pleasing as an aroma. Uh, but this is actually a dietary supplement so you can take this one internally. Um, this is the one that we're going to use for digestive support. Okay, so any kind of digestive issues that you have, um, the Digize is wonderful. I will take this one actually and put it in a couple of those capsules that we were talking about because it honestly doesn't taste very good either. <laughs> um, I'll just put it in a capsule and I'll swallow it just to help um, support my digestion. Oh my goodness, I love, love this blend. This is Stress Away, and this is actually your bonus oil. Okay, those first 10 were the ones that came in the, the starter packet, but this is your bonus oil. And um, this one is just... Um, all I can say is it does exactly what the title says. It really takes your stress away. Um, this is one that I will put in the diffuser, um, especially in the evenings when, like I said, my kids sometimes have trouble settling down. I have four children, and they can be very energetic. So we use a lot of stress away. I love to apply stress away to my shoulders. I love the aroma. It's got some lime, some copaiba. It's got vanilla. It just smells absolutely divine. Now, one thing I I would suggest you also got a roller ball in your starter kit and this is the one that I always suggest people put the roller ball on because it just feels so good to roll on your wrist or on your shoulders when you have a little bit of mild stress or anxiety. You know, from time to time, things in Young Living do go out of stock. And so if any of the oils that are typically in the premium starter kit are out of stock, you may have received one of these flex oils in its place. And that would be orange, lemongrass, citrus fresh, aroma ease, or tea tree. And I'm not going to go through these. If you got one of these in your kit, you are welcome to use your reference guide um, or get online and Google um, these oils, about these different oils. So um, like I said, if the, if the oils that we would just went through, if not every single one of those was in your kit, you would have gotten one of these in its place. And that's just so they don't have to delay your order. And so you don't have to wait a long time to get your starter kit. They go ahead and fill the order with one of these flex oils, which is really awesome. That way you can get started right away. In your kit, you've got two samples of our Ningxia Red Super Fruit Juice Supplement. And I want you guys just to get um, online or use your reference book to really uh, research this supplement. This stuff is amazing. So the best thing to do is to put your samples in the refrigerator, get them cold, okay? You can see here the ingredients of the Ningxia Red. I mean, just it's packed full of amazing things. And look at that, just one ounce of Ningxia Red. Look what it's equal 
equal to, now this is the nutritional value. Like, could you ever eat 34 onions or 814 blueberries or 100 oranges or 93 apples in one sitting? Of course not. But just one ounce of Ningxia Red has the nutritional equivalent of all of those things. That absolutely blows my mind. My kids and my family, we all get one ounce of Ningxia Red every single day. And this has is what has kept my family out of the doctor's office for two years. We have not been to the doctor in two years. Um, it is just a high-powered, super-boosting immunity juice, and it absolutely tastes delicious. So we're not going to get into this a lot right now, but I do suggest that you do some research on this. Put your samples in the refrigerator. Get them out and try it. Your sample packs are actually two ounces, so you could, if you want to, if you're feeling generous, you could actually split those packs um, with somebody because there's two servings in each pack. You know, I really love Young Living so much because they thank us every time we bring somebody into Young Living. So when you guys start using your oils and you like see all these changes in your life, I promise you, you are going to be on fire about this and you're not going to be able to be quiet about it. You're going to be telling your mom and your sister and your friend and your aunt and your grandma. You're going to be telling everybody. I promise. I see it all the time. And so what happens if you go out and tell people about Young Living and they want to get a premium starter kit. Is there anything in it for you? Well, absolutely. You can actually enroll your friends or your family and become their sponsor. So what does that mean, okay? That means everybody that you bring into Young Living, Young Living is going to send you a thank you check of $50 for every person that you bring into Young Living, it's just like such a well-organized referral program. So as long as you order 50 PV, which is point value, okay, 50 PV in the same month that you enroll somebody, you're going to actually get a $50 check. That's why you had to give your social security number when you signed up because if you sign somebody up, Young Living needs to cut you a thank you check. So what does it mean to be somebody's sponsor? Well, it means that you're going to really be their mentor. You're going to take that person by the hand and you are going to walk through that oily journey with them. You're going to teach them what you know and the things that you're learning. And if you feel like you don't know a lot, it's okay because you have a reference book and you guys can sit down together and you can find the answers. And there are so many answers out there, so many references out there. So what you do if somebody's interested in signing up, Give them your member number and tell them, hey, get on youngliving.com, click on become a member, and put in, you, they, they put in your member number as the enroller and the sponsor, okay? And that means they're going to come under you, you are going to be their mentor, and you're going to get a $50 check, okay? You're going to be available for them if they have questions about their oily journey. You guys are going to walk that road together, okay? Now, every once in a while, there are people that do not want to sponsor somebody. They don't want to, um, you know, help educate or they might not have the time or just really not the interest. And that's okay. If you're one of those people, if you have friends and family that are really interested in essential oils, but you really don't feel like you have the time to be their mentor, just simply contact your sponsor, um, whoever is directly above you or who brought you into Young Living, or you can contact me and we will find somebody. Um, that will help mentor them and will come in and help them. Okay, another question I get asked a lot, especially at the beginning, is how do I place another order? So after you get your starter kit, okay, obviously I know you're going to love your oils and you're going to start running out of them. Um, and you know that you may want to order something again really quickly. So what do we do? Well, whoever brought you into Young Living you don't ever have to go back to them to place an order. They're not like the makeup lady or the jewelry lady. They don't keep any stock, okay? When you become a member of Young Living as a wholesale member, you have your own virtual office, okay? So you get online, and I'm going to show you here in a minute how to do that, but there's going to be several different ways. There's going to be actually two ways that you can order. The first way is to do a quick order. So you go into your virtual office, you click on quick order, and you're going to be able to enjoy 24% off all the retail prices as a wholesale member. 
Okay, you can place as many quick orders as you want to, anytime you want to. Now, you're going to pay regular shipping prices, okay, and you're going to qualify for most of the Young Living promotions, which I'm going to talk about in a minute. But a quick order is just a basic, regular order. You're going to get your wholesale, um, your wholesale price, but you're not really going to get any freebies back for a quick order. Okay, so... The word freebies, did that perk up anybody's ears? Because I personally love freebies. <laughs> and when I can get the biggest bang for my buck, that's definitely what I want to do. So the second way that you can order is called Essential Rewards. And you're going to see when you get into your virtual office that that is going to be an option for you is the Essential Rewards. Now, some of you I know when you bought your starter kit, you already signed up on the Essential Rewards program because you saw the great value in it. Okay, now the Essential Rewards, is a loyalty program. It is a monthly auto ship, but it's going to pay you back for everything that you order. So you can see here for the first six months that you're on it, you're going to actually get 10% back of everything that you order. So let's say next month you're on Essential Rewards and you order $100 worth of products, okay, 100 PV, point value, okay, and you can check out the point value in your product guide. It's listed right next to each item. So you place a 100 PV order, you're going to actually get 10 points back into your Essential Rewards bank account, and 10 points means $10, so it's one point equals $1. Okay, now you can let those points accumulate in there. I have people on my team, they don't cash in their points until they have hundreds of essential rewards points, and then they go like on a major shopping spree, and all they have to do is pay the shipping. All right, so when you're on the essential rewards for 7 to 12 months, you're going to get 15% back, and when you've been on essential rewards as long as me, which is almost two years, I'm actually getting 20% back of everything that I order every single month. Okay, so you get just one essential rewards order per month. So I tell people, make your wish list, save everything you want to order and put it on one order on your essential rewards order. The other great thing about the ER program is that you're going to get reduced shipping rates, okay? And you're also going to get access to special kits only for ER customers. Can you see that picture there of the Thieves products? That's our Essential Rewards Thieves Kit. All of that stuff right there, the PV of that is only 115. Now, if you go into a quick order, you cannot get all of that stuff for 115, even at the wholesale price. You can only get it on an essential rewards order. So you're going to have access to special kits that other people can't get. You can change your processing day. You can change your cart anytime you want to. So say, for example, you go in later and you set up your essential rewards. It's going to have you choose a date. Okay, that means that date is when your order is going to process each and every month. So whatever is in your cart at that time, at that day, that's what's going to process. Okay, but you can change that anytime you want to. You can change your date. You are in control of all of it. And I think the great thing about it is, too, number one, you don't have to sign a duration contract. You don't have to say, okay, I'm locked into this for six months. Absolutely not. Now, you do have to be on it for two consecutive months to redeem any points, okay, but you can get out of it at any time with no questions asked and no penalty, and it doesn't cost anything to join. It's absolutely free, and another great thing is you are going to be able to qualify for extra special promos um, from Young Living, so if you feel like these oils are something that you are going to incorporate into your life each and every day, I highly suggest that you get on the Essential Rewards Program. I have um, gotten hundreds and hundreds of dollars of free product just for being on Essential Rewards. It is definitely, definitely worth it. Okay, here's the promos I'm talking about. This is just an example. I think this was um, a couple of months ago, maybe in October, um, the monthly promo. Every month, Young Living comes out with a new promotion, okay? So, 
For example, if you are on Essential Rewards and you place a 190 PB order, during this month you would have gotten some freebies. Well, what, have, what would you have gotten? You would have gotten the 5 milliliter clove oil and a 15 milliliter of Thieves. Now, the Thieves you would only get if it was an Essential Rewards. Now, if you did a quick order of 190 PV, you would still get the clove oil, but you wouldn't have got the Thieves oil. Okay, at the 250 PV level during this month, you would have gotten the clove, you would have gotten 20 additional essential rewards points to go shopping with, and the 15 mil thieves oil. And at a 300 PV level, you would have gotten all of that plus added a free home diffuser. All of this stuff, I think, retails for $157. So just for placing this 300 PV order on an Essential Rewards account, not only did I get back my points, my free points to go shopping with to turn in for free product, I got $157 worth of freebies just for doing this. So Young Living is so generous. This is why I highly, highly suggest getting on that Essential Rewards program. Okay, so this is the virtual office. Now, when you um, signed up, you got a member number, all right? So you're going to go to youngliving.com, and you're going to click on Sign In up in the right upper hand corner. And when you click on Sign In, you're going to put in your member number and put in your password. You also supplied us a, a password when you signed up. Okay, now when you pull that up, you're going to see this on the left-hand side of your screen. Okay, these are some things that you need to know. You can actually see some of the things I've talked about. You can see the quick order there, and you can also see the essential rewards. So if you're ready to set up your essential rewards order or your essential rewards account, just click on essential rewards, and it's going to actually walk you through the process of doing that. Okay, so one thing I really suggest that you guys do after this training video do you see there where it says under dashboard it says getting started I want you to click on getting started it has a whole list of training things for you and you can go through all of that training it has training on compliance it has your um, has training videos different things how to use the oils how to use different things it is so packed full of information all you need is right here in the virtual office. Young Living does such a great job of giving us all the education we need. So I want you guys to click on getting started in the VO and work through those things. You don't have to do it all in one sitting, but just work through those things and you will learn so much, I promise. Um, you see where it says member resources? Under member resources, you're going to find something called Young Living University. Those are actually training videos. They're going to train you how to to use your oils. They're going to train you how to use them safely. Lots of great things in there. You're also going to find our out of stock list. We do have things that go out of stock periodically because we are at the mercy of Mother Nature. You know, we just can't go to the lab and whip up another batch of lavender oil. We have to wait on Mother Nature because we don't have synthetics. Um, so things do go out of stock from time to time. But that's where I said, rest assured, Gary Young does not compromise on quality. So, you know, I used to get upset when things would go out of stock, and now I actually take comfort in that because I know that Gary Young and Young Living is not going to compromise and bring in some cheap synthetic brand of oil just to make a dollar, okay? Okay, under my account, you can see there at the bottom, that's where you're going to be able to track your orders. If you are sharing Young Living, and if you sponsor people or even if you decide you want to do Young Living as a business like I do, you can view your commissions and what you are going to be making on your checks every single month, okay? And then like I said, the essential rewards, you can click on that and start earning um, points back to go towards your free products. Okay, so we have come to the end. This has been so much information, and I know, like right at the beginning, you probably feel like you have been drinking from a fire hydrant, <laughs> and I apologize. You are welcome to go back and play this again as many times as you want to, um, but I really do highly suggest getting into the virtual office, clicking on those member resources, click on getting started. That is going to help you so much with education, and I also want you to really lean on your sponsor, whoever that person is 
says, if it's me, contact me. If it's your sister, contact your sister. If it's your mom, contact your mom. Whoever signed you up, really lean on them. They are here to support you. They are here to help walk this oily journey with you. So since we've come to the end, I want to give you a free gift as my way of saying thank you for coming into my team and thank you for bearing with me over the last hour in learning about essential oils. So I want you to contact me and I'm going to send you this free magazine called Experience the World of Essential Oils. This magazine I think is 50 some pages, but it is packed full of wonderful information that's really going to help you. And also, if you are ready to sign up for Essential Rewards, and you get in your virtual office and click Essential Rewards, set up your Essential Rewards account, I am also going to send you not just the magazine, but I'm going to send you one of those um, pretty diffuser necklaces that you see there. Um, it might not be exactly like one of those, but it'll be something similar. So all you do is you take a couple of drops of essential oil and you put it on the terracotta necklace and you can wear it and you can smell it all day long. And they're just a wonderful way to carry your oils with with you all day long. So these are the freebies that I want to give to you for coming into my team and for taking this training course. You can contact me to get your freebies um, a couple of different ways. You can see my phone number there. You can text me. You can call me. You can send me an email. If we're friends on Facebook, you can message me. But I also want you to do something else. I want you to get on Facebook and type in Sensibly Created. That is the name of my team. And we have a private Facebook group just for members on my team. We do a lot of um, oily education. We do content. Tests, we do giveaways, we do all kinds of stuff in there. So I want you to contact me, shoot me an email, shoot me a message, let me know you have finished this training so I can send you your magazine. And if you have signed up for Essential Rewards, also tell me that you have done that and I'm going to send you the diffuser necklace. Thank you so much for coming in and to my team and for starting this journey with essential oils, P please feel free to contact me. Hang on to my information anytime you need anything. I want you guys to know that I'm here for you. So have a wonderful experience with your oils, and I wish you the best of luck.